Guys, I just heard I, I got in. Oh my god. I was like, I was so worried because I didn't know all I did. And I was just, I just opened the email and it. And it so, okay, I see. Um, I may owe you guys an explanation as to why I'm being so dramatic. But honestly, hey, this is YouTube. I think everyone is allowed to be somewhat of a dramatic here. And also, I got into Microsoft. That's huge for me, um, a computer science student. So, yeah, just keep on watching. Darling, you send me. I know you. Send hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I'm a college student who loves fashion and experimenting. And today's video would actually be more technical than my usual fashion ones because this is a journey that I want to record with you guys. So yeah, I'm a computer science and math double major at Vanderbilt and just like every junior who's graduating early I'm looking for internships during the summer to potentially land a full-time offer so I got this amazing um, opportunity at Microsoft which I will be having a final round interview with in 10 days so yes, this video will be dedicated to me explaining the process, recording my preparation for it, and sharing with you guys the outcome. But obviously, if I don't make it, I'll probably not publish the video, just, you know, to not relive the trauma. But yeah, that's the video. Let's get into it. So before we officially dive into the lead code grinding process, I want to up update you guys, with, you know, where I am in the process. So. Um, I'm a junior currently, I'm graduating this December and I applied to Microsoft's garage uh, software engineering position in mid-January and heard back about a couple days after I applied which is really fast and by really fast I meant that compared to my other thousands of applications to other companies which I've never heard back from yeah this is pretty fast so yeah, um, I didn't actually prepare that much for the first round because it was just a screening process where like they basically wanted to make sure you know what you're talking about. So the technical question as expected was not really difficult and there was some like resume going over. They asked me some really simple stuff. So the first round was really basic and I was able to complete pretty um, easily without much preparation from lead code but um, as we know that's just the first round and I um, after interviewing yesterday I actually heard back within a couple hours they wanted to have the final round interview I scheduled um, in 10 days so yes this is the start of my official grinding so what other way is there to grind besides you know recording it while grinding so here we are the video and I just want to share my general structure. The timeline is actually a bit tight. I know like there are people who started preparing like weeks, months ago, and I only have 10 days, so I know it's gonna be hard, but also I have a pretty good, I would say, um, background in data structure and algorithm and all the operating system and stuff. So I think it's totally doable. So my current plan is to go through 20 to 30 lead code problem um, which you know I got premium subscription for just now to you know identify the Microsoft problems by frequency and I'll do about yeah 30 of them a day and that will give me around 300 problems ready to go during the interview and I think that's a really a good way to prep myself so yeah I will not bore you guys with you know the process of me grinding but I will have a simple kind of summary every day after I grind and to let you guys know how much I did and just in case if anyone in the future is watching hello um, I you will have an idea of how much I actually did so yeah let's get into it hey guys it's me again and today is January the 31st which is eight days away from my interview and I'm really nervous. I didn't really update you guys as much on my progress because there was very few. 
um, as I was reviewing lead code, I found out that I definitely was very rusty about some of the data structures and I just had to study them again and do the problem. So as you can imagine, that took a lot of times and I was really only able to do five to six a day max and that, uh, like, that was already exhausting to be honest. Also here, can we just take a second to look back on what I said before I started the prep? So my current plan is to go through 20 to 30 elite cold problem. 20 to 30 elite cold. Um, I'm at a loss for words here, but, um... So yeah, sorry to disappoint, I couldn't do 20 a day. I realized that's quite impossible for someone at my level who's just starting to prepare. But yeah, so I have chosen not to do the all the problems in the forums listed by frequency, but instead um, doing the um, explore program in Leco, which is they list all the company questions like they basically did a compilation of them for you already so there are only around 60 problems in total and I'm 50, sorry, 20% in which is not a lot <laughs> but I think it's doable before the interview even though most of the problems I have done to this point are about um, strings and arrays which is a popular topic on Microsoft interview but it's also quite easy so I don't know, I still have to tackle the dynamic programming, backtracking, or uh, miscellaneous other types of programs, but I'm not really happy towards that as... Uh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and schoolwork has also been catching up to me. I have to um, do so much homework. The math classes already have like a lot of problem sets uh, assigned to us, so that's not pleasant. But yeah, um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just currently doing the problem, you probably can't see, the problem sets at school. And after that, I'll probably spend three to four hours tonight doing some lead code. And hopefully we can get to 40%, 35% by the end of the night. I will let you guys know. Peace. And there, what you just saw, my friend, is my only clip of my preparation for the code interview because honestly, during these 10 days, I was so stressed out doing problems that I just didn't want to record any days. But honestly, also, would you want to see me being messy and stressed out? I don't think so. So I'll save you the trouble and also because I don't have the clips. So enjoy the next part. It's the day of the interview and currently it is 12, uh, sorry, 2.16 p.m. my time, which is Pacific time, 12.17, I guess. And we are going to have our <laughs> interview this afternoon. I'm so nervous. As you can probably tell, I even curled my hair. Like, I don't do that if I'm not nervous that I feel like I overdid it. So we'll know about that. Um, and yeah, I'm really nervous. There are like four rounds and um my first round is actually a break which i had to clarify with whoever's checking me in but <sighs> it's gonna be a bloody afternoon okay i'll update you guys later hey guys so this is um six minutes before my first round of um, official interview and my hair is still acting out i mean i'm the only one to blame here Anyways, we have everything set up. Um, I'm on my microphone and um, slash my headphones. And I honestly don't know. I'm so excited. Also, like super afraid, kind of. I have a lot of performance anxiety when it comes to grades, school, internship, and yeah. I just really hope um, this video is to gonna make it to the public. Cause if I don't get in, it's very possible I just wouldn't want to upload it. So. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm really, really nervous, but <sighs> let's see. One eternity later. Hey guys, so actually I have finished my interview an hour ago and have went to Kroger's. Currently I am holding office hour for another class, but no one's coming, so 
Oh, I'm sorry, my cat just stepped in the lamp. Um, yeah, I actually felt really good about the interview. Um, it wasn't too hard, all of them. All of them were just lead code. Um, hi, TJ. All of them were just lead code medium and easy ones. And I answered all of them pretty fastly, except the first one. But yeah, I don't know. I have a pretty good feeling about it. And um, hi, Ria. Yeah, they're just having a party here and yeah, I'm just waiting for the results to come back to me in about two weeks and I'm really excited. Guys, I just heard I, I got in. Oh my god. I was like, I was so worried because I didn't know all I did. And I was just, I just opened the email and it... Uh, Okay, you get the gist. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I'm so excited. I'm gonna cry. Oh, wait, I'm already crying. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Um, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know why I was crying so hard um, on camera, but pretty much I was really overjoyed by the news considering that I've literally sent out thousands of code emails and resumes and never really heard back from. I guess more than three of them so this opportunity definitely came to me as shocking news and I just really felt like years of preparation and um, unrecognized work has been finally you know um, recognized so I was super excited sorry about the crying face mm. okay let's go so hey guys, after crying and couldn't really cope with the fact that I actually got accepted into Microsoft internship, I am finally calm down. Obviously this is another day as yesterday, I was just, I couldn't really calm down at all. But yeah, so today I want to kind of talk and wrap up about some of my preparation tips and just in case any one of you guys want to apply to big company like Microsoft, Amazon, Google as well, I want to just share my tips. So yeah, let's talk about um, first technical interviews. I know this is probably the most daunting part and definitely the part that I spent the most time preparing. So yeah, I would definitely suggest you to start doing lead code. And because lead code is very nice, they do have these uh, Microsoft Google modules on the Explorer page. So you can just do these modules and they have relatively fewer problems compared to if you look at the question um, problem forum there will be like a thousand I think yeah a, a thousand questions and stuff so unless you have a lot of time I would suggest you go to the module where they have editors pics where you know people have reflected that these questions they actually met in the actual interview so I actually did not finish the entire Microsoft um, module I just did the editor picks and some other questions when I had extra time and yeah I definitely think it was helpful actually two of my interview problems were entirely from that it's like identical and I just can't say enough about how much Lico has helped me this video is not sponsored by Lico by the way I just think it was really useful also it kind of helped to brush up on some basic data structures like arrays, linked lists, and all that. You just have to have them in the back of your hand and be able to use it under stress. So I think these are really important. Obviously, if you haven't taken any formal CS courses like data structures or algorithms, you may it may take you longer to kind of relearn or learn these structures because um, they do need a little bit of time to get used to but it should, shouldn't be too big of a problem so I've taken these courses at school so yeah preparation for me was just entirely lead code and I actually think it helps a lot and another thing is just to do mock interview with your friends so in my case I have an awesome friend who currently works at Apple and he got so many amazing offers from everywhere so he kind of has a lot of experience and everything so so he mocked interviewed me actually when we were on a grocery trip and I just couldn't thank him enough because that was kind of like the first idea I got I got from um, him that you know what an actual interview looks like and it was actually really helpful it is from that mock interview I realized you know you actually have to speak your thoughts while doing it which I thought would be so easy like <laughs> you know um, but it actually is not it's not natural at all and sometimes when I think I just forget to speak when I speak I just can't think and all that and I think that's completely 
trainable and after some practice you know and mumbling to my laptop like 12 a.m in the morning i just you know gradually developed the habit of rambling when i do code and i think that helped in my interview as well to you know let them see what my thought process is like and that definitely helped them in terms of whether you know i need a little bit of help and they can give me that help because i let them know which step i'm on and stuff so that was really helpful and a third point is just um, I think behavioral questions, um, these definitely don't take as long to prepare but um, it really depends on individuals I guess because I am the kind of person, as you can tell, I'm having a YouTube channel, I love to talk and just ramble about my past experiences so this comes pretty natural to me and so yeah, I just looked at some of the um, you know the best uh, questions to look at for your technical uh, slash behavioral interview these kind of websites and they definitely give a lot of great insights about um, you know like well how should you answer this question there are definitely not a single standard answer per se but I think there are some like key points it's best to mention such as like collaboration or like the the fact that you understand what agile development means so these are really really helpful as well and also yeah you have to be prepared to talk about your past projects um, so during my past internships projects some of the technologies I used were very specific to that field for example like virtual reality kids or um, data analysis or like you know the name of the weird data set I use and these were all like really good stuff to brush up on before your um, interview because you want to give people the impression that you actually know what you're doing and hopefully you really do <laughs> and yeah just to make sure you are familiar with the content just so you know they do pick up on lines on your resume and anything on there is fair game so yeah they would ask you to describe this project you did and maybe even ask some technical part of it so just make sure you are actually really really confident about your past projects otherwise don't put it on there because it might actually be very I see. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So my first round interview um, composed of a very simple kind of resume scan. They asked me to tell them about the project I did and you know, they asked me a simple coding question on Codility and I was um, and I was asked about some, you know, whether I had any questions about Microsoft and that's so yeah, that's like pretty much a very structured three-part interview and the similar thing can be said for my final round interviews which has uh, which had three rounds um, and pretty much they're structured the same some interviewers may ask you a bit more questions and some um, less some we just straight jump straight up to the um, technical interview and I think that's totally fine but at the end of the day they'll definitely ask you whether you have any questions about their company and I think that's a really great time to show that you understand their culture um, you understand their expectations and maybe it's good to ask some more in-depth uh, questions and stuff so yeah, I just wanted to share my experiences with you guys this is by no means you know I'm trying to like I don't know, show off. I mean, I want to show off because it's. I'm really happy I got the offer. But more importantly, I feel like I can definitely um, share some of my experiences with you guys who are also maybe going through the same um, route. And yeah, it may just make your interview in the future easier because you know what to expect. And yeah, just if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, my name is Christine. Um, and just make sure to subscribe and yeah I'm really happy that I recorded this experience and get to share with you guys so yeah um, I'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.